Welcome back, folks. So, Kate must learn Kiki Well part number 10. So, we're halfway there. Uh, as usual, go back and view all the other nine parts. There's some detail in there that I don't hit on in my videos. All right, today let's talk about the count operator. If we go over here to our example code, count operator does exactly what you think it does, it counts each row. Uh, for your query and gives you an output of how many rows it is. So in this case, there are 30,249 security events in the last hour in this uh, Sentinel instance. So good for understanding if something exists, does it really um, mean anything? Count operator is good for kind of trying to peel back the onion on some of that stuff. So a more useful query here would be the number of successful logins. And we're looking at event ID 4624, account type user. And you'll notice here we have the little equal sign tilde. So this is case insensitive. So if we run this with the shift enter, we can see that we have 376 successful logons in the last hour. So maybe this specific query is not particularly useful. Potentially looking at failed logons is a more useful metric than successful in your specific environment. So again, we're same type of query here. We're just looking for event ID 4625. And the same thing here using the equal sign tilde for the account type user. So that's case insensitive. And we just want to count those. So shift enter and we get zero here. So that may be more meaningful example of how to use count to um, understand whether your query is really giving you meaningful data or not. So that's uh, pretty much it on the count operator. Appreciate you following the series. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.